these April showers are definitely giving our Mayflowers a boost along with our gardens. And here with the dirt on spring planting, it's Rupp's Flower Factory and Greenhouse. And I have Roger Kramer standing by. Hey, Roger, how are you? It is a golden day. <laughs> As is every day, and we are excited to talk with you because I know a lot of people are just itching to get out in their gardens and start planting and working away um, now that they've got a lot of free time on their hands. So when is the right time to start heading out to our gardens? Well, you know, April's a great time to, to plant a lot of your early vegetables. Uh, it's a good time maybe to get your, uh, your potatoes planted. And basically, you know, we, we, we do a lot of education. You can always ask us how to plant these things. We'll be glad to help you. But with your, uh, like the potatoes are so easy to plant. You basically cut them up and have two eyes in each one. That's little sprouts on the potatoes. You can see the potato sprouts in there. Yeah. You cut those up and you uh, let the let the potato heal for about 24 hours before you plant them. And then you plant them about six inches deep and then they'll grow and they'll, it's one of the easiest vegetable crops that you can, they can grow. So this is a good time of year to do that. What about tomatoes? Um, tomatoes, we're gonna talk about tomatoes in a minute. Oh, okay. Let's talk, we're gonna talk a little bit about the early stuff. And then we'll jump over. See, we, we, we talk about tomatoes. <laughs> this is what we call our neighbor beaters. This is what you plant when you want to have the earliest tomatoes in the in the in the neighborhood. I love what it. We call them neighbor beaters. <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna focus a little bit on the early things, things like onions. There's a couple ways that you can plant onions. One is you get the onion plants, and these work best if you're going to use them for keeping onions. So that you plant them about six inches apart. And they'll get big, big as my fist. And they'll, they'll be ready, you know, mid to late summer. But if you want it easy to plant, you plant your onion sets. And sets are great. Usually we'll plant these like an inch and a half apart. And I pull out every other one for your green pulling onions. Okay. And I'll leave the rest for your keeping onions. I didn't even know there was such a thing as keeping onions. I thought they were all well, the, onions. Well, well you, you get the big onions that you, then those you can keep almost most of the winter if you have a cool, dry spot. You can keep onions long time. So you can grow onions several ways. So that's easy peasy. Interesting. Okay. And one of my favorite things that you can plant, it's a perennial. Isn't this gross looking? It kind of looks hairy or maybe that's yeah. just the... <laughs> what you know is what it? that is? No. It's an asparagus root. Oh, I do love me some asparagus. So you can't go wrong with a little asparagus on the grill. <laughs> so these are asparagus roots, and they're they're one you plant and you'll have for 25 years. They for, for virtually forever. So you really? plant these in a trench, and you cover them up with a couple inches of soil. Then as this sprout comes up. You fill in the trench, and then once you get them established, you're going to have asparagus in your garden forever. Wow. Okay. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, we're about out of time, but I want to ask, usually... Wow, that went quick. I know, right? Uh, we could talk gardening okay, we'll all have day. To do, we'll have to do this again. Well, definitely. We get lots of questions. When's the best time to plant tomatoes and peppers? We recommend around Mother's Day. That was going to be my, is, my question. I usually hear that Mother's is Day. by far the best time. And that's usually when the weather settles. Our average frost-free date is usually mid-May, May 10th. And, uh, and then it's safe because they don't like these cold nights. Yeah. Well, so who does? It's got to warm up. But then you... But it's time to plant your cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, lettuce. It is time, time to get those yeah. veggie gardens started. Okay, really quickly, you have a new location in Muhammad. That's We're exciting. We're very excited about our new location. It's on uh, South Lake of the Woods Road, uh, next to the doggy daycare place. Okay. There's a lot of people in Muhammad know where that's at. So look us up on Facebook. Look us up on the wide web. We're out there. You got any questions, call me, email me. 
We'll take care of you. Okay, I got a question. Is May 1st your tentative opening date? Yes, we are opening May 1st in Muhammad. So we are loading plants today as we speak. So we'll be ready May 1st. And you're already open there in Gibson City. We're open in Gibson and Paxton. Well, look at you. We have a satellite store in Paxton and it's up and running. And uh, as you can see behind me, the greenhouse is full of plants, trees, shrubs, perennials, lots and lots of pretties. Yes, it is. You've got quite the variety there for people to go and, and check out. And we appreciate you giving us a little tour there and some great facts on getting our, our veggie garden started. Thank you so much. Super. We'll have to do this again. Thank you. I'm down. Hey, for more. Remember, have a golden day. <laughs> You too. For more information on Rops Flower Gar or Flower Flower Factory and Greenhouse, we'll connect you with CILiving.tv.